uh, nursing in uh, almost 20 years. But unfortunately, I failed to, dis uh, failed to educate my family member on breast self-examination. So for your information, uh, my sister had been diagnosed as breast cancer at her age of 29 years old. Okay, and then she is a very well educated lady and she is very conscious about her food. She does exercise every day. Okay, and unfortunately, uh, she is not aware of this breast self examination and uh, she passed away uh, two months ago at her age of 32 years old. Okay. Why I'm, uh, I'm so eager to share this experience with you because there is a chance of getting uh, breast cancer in every woman, one in eight. What does that mean? That means that, 80, let's assume that 80 of us are here, women. That means there is a 10% of us, that 10% 10, 10 will get breast cancer in their entire life. That's, that's, that means something that you need to uh, consider about breast self-examination. Okay, apart from that, uh, I also want to inform you that the youngest breast cancer patient was identified to be 13 years old late girl from Florida. So that makes, that uh, what I wanted to convey here is breast cancer does not choose the victim, whether you're healthy, whether you have any family background of uh, uh, breast cancer or breast related, uh, uh, cancer related uh, history in your family or whether you consume what sort of food, okay? But we do have equal chance of getting breast The only way to uh, save our breast, save our life is by detecting Very good afternoon to all the participants. Uh, thank you very much for Madam Chairman, Ms. Manisha for the lovely introduction about myself. Okay, today I'm going to talk about this breast self-examination workshop. I will have a very short talk followed by a hands-on session in a simulation uh, uh, lab in third floor. Okay, before I start about breast self, uh, before I talk more about breast self-examination, let me share with you a very short experience of myself. As what Ms. Manisha have explained to you, uh, have I introduced about myself, I have a strong involvement in a female uh, nursing, you know, a female sort of uh, nursing in uh, almost 20 years. But unfortunately, I failed to, dis uh, failed to educate my family member on breast self-examination. So, for your information, uh, my sister had been diagnosed as breast cancer at her age of 29 years old. Okay, and then she is a very well educated lady and she is very conscious about her food. She does exercise every day. Okay, and unfortunately, uh, she is not aware of this breast self examination. And uh, she passed away uh, two months ago at her age of 32 years old. Okay, why I'm, uh, I'm so eager to share this experience with you because there is a chance of getting uh, breast cancer in every woman, one in eight. What does that mean? That means that 80, let's assume that 80 of us are here, women. That means there is a 10% of us that 10% 10, 10 will get breast cancer in their entire life. That's, does that mean something that you need to uh, consider about breast self-examination? Okay, apart from that, uh, I also want to inform you that the youngest breast cancer patient was identified to be 13 years old late girl from Florida. So that makes, that, uh, what I wanted to convey here is breast cancer does not choose the victim. Whether you're healthy, whether you have any family background of uh, uh, breast cancer or breast related, uh, uh, cancer related uh, history in your family or whether you consume what sort of food, okay? But we do have 
equal chance of getting breast cancer. The only way how we want to do, uh, save our breast as a woman and also how we want to save our life is by detecting early any uh, lumps in our uh, breast. So with that, uh, my uh, talk will be very short. I just want to talk what is breast self-examination, why we do breast self-examination, and when to do it, and how to perform it. Okay, what is breast self-examination? As simple as that, breast self-examination means look and feel. That's all. What do you look? Every day we look it into our breasts, isn't it? Every day we go open and look in the breast. But what I'm trying to say here, look with conscious. We have to look to observe, we have to look into the breast consciously. What do you mean by look into consciously? Every day I'm looking at my breast. Okay, if I could ask this audience, who will uh, uh, can really answer me uh, genuinely? Who can really tell me how big your breast is? Equivalent to what? Do, do you have any mole in any part of your breast? Can you tell me exactly? And what is the shape? Is it a sagging type on your right side and left side is a bit firm? Could you really tell me this? Yeah, I can see some of the audience is shaking the head. That means we are not looking into, actually we are looking, looking uh, every day we are looking our breasts, isn't it? But actually we are not looking into it as consciously. So now the breast self-examination is you are supposed to observe it with conscious, okay, and palpate to detect any changes or abnormality that may indicate presence of cancer. So what is the benefit of breast self-examination? To detect any changes or abnormality early. So we don't want to wait until here, isn't it? Nah? We want to detect as early as possible. Definitely it's not expensive. It's not as expensive as mammogram or ultrasound. Okay? It's very convenient. So you need only, you need to have only three minutes in a month to do a breast self-examination. Eh? Okay, breast self-examination definitely could save your breast. What I mean by that is, if let's say you could detect the lump early, maybe you just need to, you can save your precious breast. You just need to do your lumpectomy because breast is a symbol of feminine, isn't it? Uh, we are so proud of our breast as a female, isn't it correct? Okay. Most lump or uh, all changes are self-detected. This is shown by the statistic. Eh? So you you do, actually even though we do a mammogram yearly, it's been recommended 40 years so 40 years above. Women are recommended to do mammogram, isn't it? So, but you as you already know, as I have mentioned by the earlier speaker, we know that breast cancer doesn't occur after 40 years anymore, isn't it? So we can see the obvious example is our Miss Erica there. She got her breast cancer same age as my sister at the age of 29 years old. Okay? So most... Uh, uh, okay then. Okay, when to do breast self-examination? Few days after the menstrual period because we don't have any tenderness. The best time is 7 to uh, 10 days after your first day of your period. Huh? And... If let's say you're menopause, if some of you are not medical personnel, what I mean by menopause is no more menstruating. Eh? So the best time is to just uh, allocate a day. The best time for you to remember is the first day of a month. Whether the month have 31 days, 30 days or 29 days. Just select a day so that regularly you do on the same day. So what happens if I'm pregnant, if I'm uh, lactating or if let's say I've done post breast implant. Still, you have to do breast self-examination. So you might be asking some of here, I can see some of you are medical students, right? So you have uh, definitely have done um, a breast, uh, clinical breast examination. So for the pregnant lady, definitely you say, oh, it's so lumpy. Everywhere I could feel the lump. Isn't it correct? But you could, you, uh, it's not easy for you to feel it. But the woman will know their breast themselves. So they will know what the changes that happen in their lifetime period because every woman will have a certain sort of uh, changes in their lifetime and also on her breast. So during the puberty is firm and nice like this. Then after that during pregnancy is heavy. It's like as almost going down, isn't it?
Then after that, during lactating, she feel feel oh, it's so sagging down, full of breast, eh, full of milk. Sorry. Then <laughs> you are still alert, ah, with me, ah? <laughs> So full of milk. Then after that, what happened? When menopause, it's already set down. Okay, this is the, all the process that woman will go through. So the woman is the one who know how her breasts look like compared to uh, us as a healthcare personnel. Okay. Okay. First step is, uh, as I told you, the two basic steps: look and feel. It's easy as that. Huh? So what are you going to look? Is uh, actually you are looking into your breast. So when you, how you're going to look into breast? You have to have a mirror. Please don't have a small mirror like this. Look at breast here. And then go Please don't do that. Huh? So make sure you have an appropriate mirror huh, in front of you. Make sure you can really, I did, I really can compare the right breast and the left breast to see if there is any changes or you can compare the breast. And then, of course, the feeling part. Huh? Okay, I'll talk about it further. So, first of all, what you need to do, make sure the mirror is uh, big enough to accommodate your upper part of your body, okay? Stand in front of the mirror and look for any changes in the front view and side view. This is front, this is side, huh? okay, side view. Huh? With the three position, because some of you know that they also have four position, I will explain. Huh? So first of all, you raise your arm behind your head. Can everyone do with me, please? Like this, huh? okay? Then the second one is, you have to put your arm down at the side, this way. And then the third one is bending forwards with applying pressure inwards on the hip. First of all, you have to look, put your hand on the hip and then look first whether there is any changes and then uh, breathe in and then apply some pressure on your hip and bend forwards. As you're bending forwards, you also see whether there is any changes on your breast or you could see any thickening part on your breast or any lumps, 